Hey guys, Joe here. And uh, before I tell you what this is, or what knife this is, because you can obviously tell it's a knife, I want to tell you a little story about, about it beforehand. First of all, let me ask you, have you ever had a situation where you have two of something, and maybe one is really good, like a top name brand, and another one's maybe a lower end brand, that if something happened to it, ah, it's no big deal. Like maybe you got two cameras, One's a really high-end camera that you only use for special occasions. And another camera is just a point-and-shoot that you really, you know, you don't really care too much about. Or, like, say, for instance, a car even. You know, one's a beater, car you just get around. And another one's, like, maybe your sports car that you take really good care of. Well, this is something like that. I once did a, a video for you guys uh, showing you a... An Enron knife that I said I it's a, it's almost like a friend that I keep coming back to and I'll put that in the upper right corner and it's something that I use time and time again but before that knife ever existed I had this knife now this knife is a Gerber aspect okay now let me just push the camera back and take you around the knife now unfortunately this knife is discontinued now I just, I moved from where I used to live my whole life about 10 months ago and this knife was always sitting at my desk and this was the knife that when cutting jobs came up that I didn't want to ruin that Spyderco or that $200 knife or I didn't want to use uh, you know that high-end zero tolerance or and uh, the, the, the ugly jobs, the sloppy jobs, the one that, well, if the knife breaks or if the knife gets ruined, it wasn't a lot of money. This is the knife I always went to. Yet time and time again, because it, it always would come through. Now, I, like I said, I moved 10 months ago and I was looking and looking for this knife and I couldn't find it. And just today I found it and it was pitted, it was at the bottom of a box, you know, uh, I guess when I when it was everything was packed, you know, again because of the low cost of it, it you know, if, if it got lost or it got ruined, uh, excuse that. Just by now, just now, the motorcycle had to pass by. But anyway, if it got ruined, it's not a high cost, you know. So you, you know, you, you're taking better care of the other knives. But sometimes things need to be said, and this knife, not the camera that's not focusing. There we go. This knife has always come through time and time for me again. You're going to see some battle scars. I wish I should have I should have did this video when I found it in the box this morning. But since uh, finding it, I've oiled it up. I've even, believe it or not, I before I was going to put on a sharpener and I said, geez, this thing must be as dull as hell because, you know, I've never sharpened it. And I took a, a letter... Uh, some mail that I uh, hadn't opened that it flew right open and then I it, since it was junk mail I took the paper that was out of the mail sliced right through it and even though this has been used in like I said before ugly situations you know dirty situations stuff that like if you don't care something happens to it and yet time and time again it comes through now why am I doing a video of a knife that doesn't exist anymore I mean it's discontinued you can't obviously buy it well, you can. I mean, there are places on eBay. I just looked up now. Um, the one guy has uh, a couple of them, but he's the only guy. Now, I looked up other sites, and they look. When you first look at it, it looks like you have it. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Oh, no, it's not zooming. But um, other sites look like they have it, but then once you get there, it's discontinued. You know, it shows it's discontinued. Now, some stats about the knife. Let me uh, put it up like this. This way it stays focused. The Gerber aspect, the overall length is six, little, little under six and a half inches. The blade length is a little under two and a half inches. The weight, even though it would it appear it might be a heavy knife, is not. It's 3.6, and a lot of that is thanks to this you know this this cutout right here it feels nice in the hand so let me get that focused again for you uh... it doesn't even list the type of steel it just says high carbon stainless steel with aluminum handles and it obviously has a drop point blade and it's a liner lock 
Now again, I, I think I cut myself off. Why am I showing you a knife that you can't get or would be very difficult to get? I want you to consider Gerber because lots of times, you know, uh, some people that they're buying the Spydecos, the zero tolerances, the customs of the world, Gerber sometimes because their prices are very, very reasonable, they might be considered that they are so reasonable that they might not be a good knife. Now, uh, that is totally untrue. I'll show you an upper corner um, of a review I did of the Gerber Gator uh, that I recently uh, uh, purchased. Another fantastic knife. I have a few knives um, that I use called the Gerber Fatty, if you want to look it up um, on, uh, on eBay. I'm sure there's still, I don't know if it's discontinued yet, but you might be able to look that up or at least see pictures of it. Or I might even, if somebody requested it, I might do a review on it. I don't know. Another knife I've always you would come to. I want, uh, because of Gerber coming out with Bear Grylls lately, they're getting more, uh, it seems like they're getting more of a look-see. But uh, I wanted you, in case you're ever on the fence about buying a Gerber, I want this video to maybe sway you on the, on the right side of buying a Gerber. Try it out. I know that you could probably find Gerbers at your local Target or your local Walmart, and you might say, man, that's probably a cheap knife. Well, no, it's not. It's cheap in cost, but it's very, very reliable. As I said, I've been using this knife for years, and it always got the ugly jobs, and it always came through. So, I just wanted to show it to you. There it is, the Gerber aspect. I don't know if they put on, uh, you can still see some of the ballastol and the, and the hops oil is still on there. I don't know if they put out a, uh, like a part two to this. I looked it up, I didn't see anything, or maybe another... Uh, model Gerber that uh, relies itself to, to, to this model. But nonetheless, open your mind to Gerber. Gerber's a good brand. And fortunate enough, it's for the, you know, those of us who can't afford uh, high end knives, you know, count me among them. It's very, it, it's, it's nice to know that you can, you know, go and buy something like this that's going to be still there to so much use. It's still incredibly sharp. I know I said the uh, the size, but let me put it next to a ruler. Oh, like a jerk, I got the ruler upside down. So, there you go. Alright, so there you have it, the Gerber aspect. I hope you enjoyed my video. Take care.